Here we are in Mamaroneck, a quaint American town. Once known for its farming and fishing, is now a prime suburban residential community. Economically and ethnically diverse, perhaps the perfect place to ask local citizens what they think about the recent tax cuts, the looming deficit, and the job market. Let's find out. What have things been like in the last year in terms of the economy for you, in terms of business? It's been, it's been actually, um, I would say in the past 12 months, it has been a little bit better than the previous couple of years. The economy seems to be coming back somewhat. I'm a general contractor, so I see some improvements in the work end. It took a while, but finally the uh, administration has approved those tax cuts that we've been talking about for the last few weeks. What do you think about that? At the end of the day, yeah, sure, every, every little bit helps, uh, but again, it's only a little, it's, I don't think it's going to be enough to really make that much of a difference. Tell me how difficult it's been to find a job. Oh, it's been extremely difficult. Uh, I've been looking for work for about two years, and I've had plenty of opportunity to interview, but uh, employers don't seem to be willing to pull the trigger. At least that's been my experience. The part of the, the extension of the tax cuts also means that it's going to add to the deficit. How much of a concern is this burgeoning deficit that's reached into the trillions now? Well, it's a concern for the future. I worry about how my children are going to fare and what's going to be you know, going on in the next 15, 20 years, or you know, even shorter term than that. We also want to get a gauge of small businesses and how they're doing here on Main Street. This is the den of antiquity. It's one of three shops that the owner has, and he's been here since something like 1956. Come on in. Elliot, how's business been in the last year or so? Business, I would guess, is off 30 to 50 percent the last five years, unfortunately, because antiques are a luxury business, a luxury item. So uh, people spend the money on food and they don't come in to buy the antiques as much. And it's all over Europe, the same thing. I'm not getting my European dealers coming in like they used to all the time. So now we found this little pasta shop. This shop has been here in Vimeranek for the last 30 years. We're going to speak to one of the owners now. His name is John. John, what are you most concerned about right now? Oh, boy. Uh, I'm concerned about the future. Uh, I'm concerned that uh, people doesn't have the same... Usually American people are very uh, generous, basically. And if they have money, they do spend it. They do, they do shop. And obviously, you know, lately uh, the money is not there like it used to be. And so therefore everybody's tightening up a little bit, even in the food stores. A small snapshot of what life is like in a small town. And certainly things feel like they've begun to improve. The economic climate is a little bit better. But there is a lingering uncertainty about what lies ahead in the future. Not so much for them but for their children. Felicia Taylor, CNN, Mamaroneck.